In previous lecture, we learnt the geometry of complex numbers, the different types of locus of complex numbers in organ plane. Okay, let me summarize the things what we learnt in the previous lecture. So, the first one is we represented as modulus of z1 minus z2 or mod of z2 minus z1, which is nothing but which gives the distance between z1 and z2 okay distance between the two complex numbers z1 and z2 and the next we learned that the perpendicular bisector of a complex number so what it is mod of z minus z1 equals to mod of z minus z2 which is a perpendicular bisector of joining the line segment perpendicular bisector of joining the line segment z1 and z2 okay joining the line segment z1 and z2 and the next we discussed another joining the line segment of the equation locus of z okay locus of z so what it is z1 z minus z1 okay so z minus z1 plus mod of z minus z2 equals to mod z1 minus z2 or z2 minus z1 which is so what is the line uh, line segment joining z1 and z2 okay line segment joining z1 and z2 so which is nothing but a and b or the two numbers z1 and z2 are the two complex numbers so we have another z over here so let it is point p a p plus b p and equals to a b then we will obtain it as mod of z minus z1 plus mod of z minus z2 equals to another one now what is the ray equation so it is 4 okay let we are having a point a and b over here a of z1 b of z2 and p over here of z which is okay a ray initiated with so where we get it as what it is so we obtain it is as a b equals to a p minus b p a p that means z minus z1 mod minus z minus z2 mod of z minus z2 equals to mod of z2 minus z1 which is a locus of z of a ray initiating from a locus of a ray initiating from a point z1 okay initiating from z1 and here the same thing can be written as what is the straight line equation that does not belongs to what is a b okay if we take the modulus z minus z1 minus mod of z minus z2 whole modulus equals to z2 minus z1 okay that means here we have a locus of uh, p point p over here that means point z over here towards the left and right side of point p of z so the locus does not lie in between a and p so which is the condition and next uh, moving we have the circle equation what is the circle equation we discussed over here so the circle equation is the fifth one okay so the fifth one is the circle equation of the center origin equals to mod z equals to r or mod z square equals to r square and the center as z1 mod z minus z1 equals to r mod of z minus z1 all square equals to r square and in the diametric form z minus z1 whole square plus z minus z2 whole square equals to mod of z2 minus z1 whole square which is in the diametric form okay diametric form of a circle okay diametric form of a circle okay next uh, moving ellipse so what is an ellipse so simply consider the two focal points okay we consider the two focal points and the two focal points sum that means s dash p plus uh, from the two distance okay if we consider here and s dash of z and s of z1 and a point p over here 
and we'll get it as s dash p plus s p equals to 2a then we can write it as z minus z1 plus mod of z minus z2 equals to k and uh, we know that uh, if it is this is ellipse okay which can be ellipse only the condition is so it has to be satisfied that the k has to be greater than z2 minus z1 or z1 minus z2 and for the eccentricity is we obtain for the ellipse as less than 1 and the next we discussed is hyperbola what is hyperbola mod of z minus z1 and the difference mod of z minus z2 and whole modulus equals to k is an hyperbola okay which is as hyperbola the condition is k must be less than mod of z2 minus z1 or z1 minus z2 okay here the eccentricity is greater than 1 okay so these are the concepts we learned in the previous lecture now we will understand this concept with one or two examples okay so now consider this question so the question is given that the equation mod of z minus i plus mod of z plus i equals to k and where k greater than 0 represents the first option is an ellipse if k greater than 0 sorry k greater than 2 and is a line segment if k equals to 2 and ellipse if k is equals to 5 and a line segment if k is equals to 1 okay let me try to find out the solution and which is in the form of so what it is given mod of z minus z1 plus mod of z minus z2 equals to some constant okay if we consider an ellipse the first option is given an ellipse then s dash and we have s okay s dash and s let consider this is as a z1 and uh, s is a z2 and a point p is our requirement and s dash p plus s p equals 2 then we can write it as s dash p plus s p equals 2 which is z z minus z1 s dash p plus s p uh, what is mod of z minus z2 and which is equals to z2 minus z1 so what is z2 minus z1 here the z1 what is the question he has given which is in the form of z minus i plus z plus i okay which is equals to k he has given that so which is from this one we can write it as z minus z1 compare here z minus z1 plus z minus of minus i equals to k now compare these two okay then we can write it as z1 equals to i and z2 equals to minus i okay z1 equals to i and z2 equals to minus i so we can write as z2 minus z1 i so what is z2 minus z1 or z1 minus z2 so it is i minus of minus i which is equals to otherwise so you can write as z1 minus z2 or z2 minus z1 which is equals to 2 i then the modulus of this is nothing but 2 okay now here the k k is nothing but so k is z2 minus z1 so which is whenever a condition this condition is said to be ellipse if the k is greater than mod of z1 minus z2 or z2 minus z1 now this condition z minus z1 mod of z minus z1 plus mod of z minus z2 equals to k is said to be ellipse okay just uh, watch the lectures of geometry of application okay so now which is uh, 2 okay if k is greater than this condition if k is greater than 2 then the given condition whatever the condition z minus i mod of z minus i plus mod of z plus i equals to k is said to be ellipse so now which is equals to k is said to be an ellipse if k greater than 2 the first option is correct okay next the second option this is regarding the line segment okay forget about this one now the third option is if k is equals to 5 okay is a is an ellipse so if k is equals to 2 k greater than 2 is an ellipse means for k is equals to 5 also it is an ellipse then option c is also correct okay now this uh, check for option c and option sorry option b and option d so what is the option b line segment so line segment joining the two points what it is this is a one point and this is a point so a of z1 plus b of z2 
and the lining a giant segment which is p of z and we can write it as ap plus bp equals to ab which is nothing but what it is ap mod of z minus z1 plus bp mod of z minus z2 equals to mod of z2 minus z1 and what is this mod of z2 minus z1 we obtain here it is as 2 but in the question it is same as what is z minus i plus z plus i equals to 2 he has given but it equals to k so now if k is equals to 2 we can say that which is the line segment okay which is the line segment okay so in organ plane if we consider here what it is which is a plus i and which is a minus i now b this is the point p which is lining joining these line segments okay which is joining this line segment mod of z minus z1 plus z minus z2 that means z minus i plus z plus i equals to 2 so for this question so option a is correct option b is correct and option c is also correct okay this is an advanced question which is uh, more than one answer correct questions okay so we can find out the required solution depending on the given condition so by applying the geometry of that means the locus of different types of locus of complex numbers okay now consider another question so what is the question he has given the equation mod of okay the equation is given that mod of mod of z plus i minus mod of z minus i equals to k okay which represents so the first option is given is an hyperbola for 0 to if k lies between the 0 to 2 that means k less than 2 is a pair of array for k greater than 2 and is a straight line for k equals to 0 and is a pair of array if k equals to 3 now we need to check for these options which one is correct okay so by seeing itself which is in the form of if we consider a hyperbola okay if we consider a hyperbola so the difference okay here we are having the difference s s dash p and sp the difference must be equals to some constant so we can write this is in the form of what it is the hyperbola condition z minus z1 mod of z minus z2 whole modulus equals to some constant is said to be hyperbola okay which is said to be hyperbola if k less than mod of z1 minus z2 or z2 minus z1 mod of z1 minus z2 so now here the condition compare here this with given condition z minus of minus i mod minus z minus i mod whole modulus equals to k okay if we compare here z1 equals to minus i and z2 equals to plus i now the k value what is the k value mod z1 minus z2 then what is the mod z1 minus z2 we obtain minus i minus i mod minus 2i the modulus of minus 2a square root of minus 2 whole square is simply 2 so we obtain k what is the mod z1 minus z2 as 2 and if k is less than mod of z1 minus z2 then which is said to be hyperbola so now the given condition is k if k is less than 2 okay which is less than 2 means it has to be in between 0 to 2 then we can say that the given is a hyperbola so the option a is correct option a is the correct one okay let's check for another options so which is also in the form of what it is if k is equals to 0 what happens over here mod of z plus i okay checking the option c mod of z plus i minus mod of z minus i whole modulus equals to k is given as 0 if it is given as 0 then the modulus is again mod of z minus i equals to 0 then we can write this is as mod of z plus i equals to mod of z minus i now which is in the form of mod of z minus z1 equals to mod of z minus z2 which is what is a straight line okay or perpendicular bisector okay straight line or perpendicular 
bisector that means now here what he has given z1 equals to some plus i and z2 equals to minus i now what it is joining these two okay joining these two which is the locus z if k is equals to 0 now this is the locus of z which joins minus i and plus i that means z1 and z2 okay so the perpendicular bisector is also nothing but so which is a straight line equation joining the z1 and z2 so if k equals to 0 we will obtain as a straight line equation joining the z1 and z2 where z1 equals to i and z2 equals to minus i okay so the option c is also correct whereas the initiating ray it will not be obtained for k greater than 2 and for k is equals to 3 also we won't obtain okay so finally we can consider the two options are correct one is the hyperbola if 0 to 2 the k value is in between 0 to 2 and for k is equals to 0 which is said to be a perpendicular bisector of the joining the lines of plus i and minus i which is nothing but a straight line joining z1 and z2 okay so this is the way of finding the solutions of given question which is related to the locus of a complex numbers okay thank you